What up, what up? I'm Joe Murray from Freedom For All Down Online. That is my website. I am a hip-hop artist, music producer, and podcast host who's been attempting to reach as many hearts and minds as I possibly could through my music and through my podcast with the message of true freedom under natural law. So, first of all, big shout-out to the NFL, the Natural Freedom League, and everyone involved with this amazing conference, which I'm honored to have been asked to be a part of. Big shout-out to Will Keller for reaching out to me. Um, But for anyone unfamiliar with me and what I'm about, my work is mainly centered around explaining what natural law actually is and how it really works in our world and what true objective morality is under natural law. And more than anything, what I get at is the how and why, according to objective morality, the moral standards in which all human beings should and must be held to equally across the board, that the existence of the state is inherently immoral and illegitimate, and there can never be a moral and just system of external governance. So now, I'm going to try to keep this as short and as sweet and as to the point as I possibly could. I don't have much time. Um, but those of you tuning into the conference today, you've at least woken up to the fact that the world is absolutely not like we've been brainwashed to believe it is, right? That world changing events aren't randomly occurring. And, you know, the people we're made to believe are calling the shots like presidents and prime ministers. They're just here today, gone tomorrow, frontmen for a more hidden force, pushing forth an agenda for control. And that there is in fact a control system in place worldwide, hell-bent on centralizing power and decision-making more and more over just about every aspect of our lives. And, you know, when people wake up to this realization, they feel disempowered and they fall into a state of fear, thinking it's this big, all-knowing, all-pervasive system that's just insurmountable, and it's just little old me, and what the fuck can I do about anything? And that's exactly what the controllers of this world want you to think, and that's how they want you to feel powerless and hopeless so you don't do anything about anything and then you spread that defeatist mindset onto others so they fall into a state of fear and hopelessness and they don't do anything you know when the fact of the matter is this control system is a house of cards and each and every one of us individually have the power to blow it the fuck over if we come together and join forces Because the problem isn't what most people believe it is. Everyone wants to point their finger outward and say, oh, it's this group of people, it's it's the Freemasons, it's the Jesuits, it's the bankers. When in reality, yes, all of those groups are part of the problem and are arms on the one octopus of control. But all of them combined with their enforcement arm, the order followers, the police and military, who actually physically manifest their will, which is a tough pill for a lot of people to swallow when you try to explain this to them. Um, They're just a tiny fraction of people in comparison to the rest of the population that they're enslaving. So the problem lies within the hearts and minds of the vast, overwhelming majority of the population. What they believe, therefore, what they will allow, what they will support and condone, and what they will enact onto others. So it's the minds of the people that are the problem. The malware that has been installed in their minds from the earliest ages of their lives. Um, Which, if we strip it all away, it all really comes down to a misunderstanding or straight-up rejection of objective morality, the true, definitive difference between right and wrong behavior. I mean, it really does. It really does come down to people not truly understanding right from wrong, and that right and wrong are objective, and that these moral standards apply to each and every human soul equally across the board, regardless if they have letters before or after their names, or wear uniforms, you know, costumes with shiny badges. The moral standards of human behavior don't waver. And most people innately have a moral compass, right, and are taught right from wrong as a child by their parents. Um, Which is, you know, don't go and initiate harm onto others or damage or steal their stuff and don't lie or defraud anyone. Because that's what we have the right to do. You know, a human right is any action that doesn't initiate harm onto others or result in the theft or damage of their property. Rights are actions that don't initiate violence or aggression. So I'm pretty sure that most of our parents taught us this, right, as, as children. Um, The issue is that we've been brainwashed to believe that there is an exemption from morality when it comes to 
government and its agents, that somehow they can be delegated or granted the right to perform actions onto others that we as individuals would have no right to perform onto anyone else, right? And there's a very simple way of understanding this and looking at this. You just observe any action a politician takes, any action a police officer takes or military person takes, and then ask yourself, would you, as an individual, have the right to perform those exact same actions onto your neighbor or another person? And if the answer is no, they have no right to perform their, those actions either. So, you know, such as taxing your neighbor, you know, which taxation is just a euphemism for theft and extortion. That's all it is. Um, or, you know, slapping a, a, a strobe light on the top of your car and forcing someone to pull their vehicle over back by the threat of violence up until death, you know, under the suspicion that they've done something wrong or didn't follow the commands of another human being slash politician, right? Like, we have no right to do that. How did they magically obtain this right? You know, there's no process in which morality itself can be altered, that a wrong can be transformed into a right when it's only certain people performing those actions. There's no political process or fancy documentation that can be written up or any amount of training or education that can magically bestow onto a person or group of people, you know, extra rights, special rights that the rest of us don't inherently have. In particular, the right to rule, the right to issue decrees that others must obey or be punished, and the right to physically coerce people into complying with the decrees of another human being or group of human beings. And no human being can legitimately grant you rights or restrict or revoke them. You know why? Because rights don't come from human beings. They come from the God of all creation. And the God of all creation has blessed us equally with inherent natural rights. The right for us to do anything we so please as long as we don't initiate violence onto other sentient beings or damage or steal their stuff. That's it. Because that's all true morality actually is. Along with the right of defending ourselves when violence or coercion is initiated onto us, when our right to be left alone unharmed, when we haven't done any real wrong, gets violated. We have the natural right to physically defend ourselves from anyone initiating aggression onto us, including agents of the state. And, you know, it may not be tactically wise to do so, but we have that right. And people need to understand both sides of this equation, non-aggression and the right of self-defense. You know, a halfway understanding won't allow us to manifest freedom. You know, there has to be a line in the sand for people where they acknowledge that physical defense is then necessary. Otherwise, tyrants win. I mean, look all throughout history. What's the only thing that's ultimately stopped tyrants from completely taking over? Physical resistance. And we don't want that, right? We don't want that individually, or we don't want, you know, the powder keg that is this country blowing and shit popping off on a mass scale, an all-out hot war, hot revolution, you know, but that's why we organize conferences such as this one, and we put out the kind of content that we do, so we could try to get it done here and here, you know, but based on the principle stated, the whole concept of government and authority is inherently bullshit and immoral and can never be legitimate. We're all free sovereign beings who own ourselves. No one has any authority over us. You know, we don't need the permission of politicians or any other human being to exercise our right to do as we please as long as we don't cause harm or loss to other sentient beings. You know, and when enough people truly grasp these concepts and have worked it out in their minds on their own after taking in a lot of knowledge of these ideas and this philosophy from others and have really come to truly understand this within them and then actually begin to live in accordance with these principles to the best of their ability on a daily basis um, by not initiating aggression onto other sentient beings and by withdrawing their support from people and organizations that do and will call out and take a stand against wrong immoral behavior regardless of where it's coming from the world must change due to law inherent natural moral law so again, I'm Joe Murray. My website is freedomforall.online. I am co-organizing a conference that's coming up Saturday, September 24th, beginning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time called Shattering the Illusion. It's a one-day online event on natural law, true anarchism, true spirituality, mind control, and the occult. 
So for more information on that, go to shatteringtheillusion.info. Um, I also have an album that I'm dropping very soon, a solo album called Ultima Ratio, as well as a joint album with my brother Diesel Automatic, which will be dropping at the end of 2022. So sign up to my email list on my website to stay up to date with me and my work. And I'm going to leave you guys with this joint off my new album. So truth, love, and freedom for all. Peace. Yeah. So we yearn for the freedom endowed by our creator Watching it slowly burn as we pass in a point of no return Where it goes from here, the choice is ours and the time is now For us to decide how history will define us Cause they know if they proceed to distract us Even divide us will never unite and utilize the light inside us That can guide us through the storm, through the rain, through it all To the change, all the songs we will sing When we hear freedom ring, things will never be the same From here on, either way, whether we see this change through Or we remain complacent, we'll manifest whatever we thirst It's up to us if it's gonna be for the better or worse Come This on. is the last straw, final hour, our last chance For us to unite for what's right Grasp hands, a rise of solidarity Take our last stance, or whether the last season This is the last reason that we can put forth Until there's nothing left to say And we all give a final farewells to yesterday And we do what we must, what is just And we pray our children live to see a better day The last reason Come on we need all souls on deck, everyone's gotta play their part, let's go It's only within you to set you free And be that sovereign soul that you was meant to be The shining light for the rest to see So incredibly free mentally that effectively begins to spread like fire collectively So what's the answer? What else can it be? The change must come independently By you first accepting the truth and natural world objectively Cause if we expect to be liberated, remaining ignorant We expect what'll never be, and never was And in the end if we don't stand together We gonna indefinitely hang separately our future's in jeopardy This is the battle our souls chose to come and fight Come on, let's fulfill our destiny This is the last straw, final hour, our last chance For us to unite for what's right Grasp hands, a rise of solidarity Take our last stance, or rather the last season This is the last reason that we can put forth Until there's nothing left to say And we all give a final farewells to yesterday And we do what we must, what is just And we pray our children live to see a better day The last reason God grant me the strength to accept what can be changed And the courage to change what cannot be accepted And the knowledge of the difference And universal forces to our resistance To bring your will to exist. God grant me the strength to accept What can be changed And the courage to change What cannot be accepted And the knowledge of the difference And universal forces to our resistance To bring your will to existence Yeah, yeah This is it, ladies and gentlemen We've reached a fork in the road Which path are we gonna choose? The path to freedom? or the path to total, complete abject slavery. It's time to choose your side and take your stand. Right here, right now, this let's is the go. Last this is the last straw. Yeah, our final hour. Come on, our last stance. Everybody, the last reason. This is the last straw. Freedom, our final hour. Our last stance. The last reason. Yeah, yeah.